So it's 1.36 p.m. Monday, 24th September 2018. So I am going to get ready to go to the doctor, my GP, so I can get a medical certificate and lodge it as requested by my job capacity assessment assessor. Uh, oh, oh, I'm going to be yawning again. Mm. What did I do that? Oh, so, um, <coughs> I just purchased a movie on Google Movies. It is called The Innkeeper. I already have a Blu-ray version of this movie. I like this movie, it's very funny and it's got horror in it as well. It's a funny horror movie. But it's very it's a bit clever as well. Oh I got my RCIA book to deliver today, but I still haven't gotten my bag and Skirt delivered, though I did get a, an SMS letting me know that they will be delivered tomorrow, which is good. Then I can wear it on uh, Wednesday morning when I go to the uh, um, go to my RCIA class and and mass uh, mass at eight a.m. <clears throat> Oh, I did cut my finger, it was a slight cut, and I was preparing my veggies too. Uh, I had two cups of coffee today, but um, I did at least prepare my veggies too, which is good. My electrolysis is on October 30th, uh, so I was worried because um, I think I have an appointment with my psychologist. Maybe at the next week, maybe? I don't know. I think next week. Um, so I was worried that they might clash because I usually, I need a few days for my hair to grow. So if, if my psychologist's appointment is usually on Monday and if my electrolysis is on Tuesday, that would not work. But since my electrolysis is on the last of October, like 30th October, and if my Psychologist appointment is in the first week or the second week. It should be okay. Mm -hmm. It is a bit cold today, uh, and it's a bit gloomy and cloudy. Uh, it's supposed to be like that tomorrow as well, uh, but uh, the temperature should go up. Uh, maybe the day after tomorrow, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, it's still, what do you call it? Spring. So the temperature is going up and down. We haven't uh, gotten to the summer stage yet. You should really get that... Um, makeup sponge thing washed so I can use it because that really uh, helps with the, uh, applying the foundation. Because I was extremely triggered uh, when I went to the job capacity assessment in that suburb for some strange reason and due to things that happened during the interview, uh, I got so triggered, all these emotional flashbacks. Uh, I was obsessed with them and they were tormenting me for a few days or more. That was not a good time in my life. Some of those years, they're very, very troubling. Uh, so difficult. Mm. 
Well, my point with my GP is at 2.30. He's the only GP in the whole medical center who has uh, an appointment schedule because he is so popular that um, like when you go, we, when we used to go, is we like you sometimes you have to wait like at least one hour to one and a half hours to see him because he has so many people want to see him. So I think because of that they introduced this appointment system. Um, he's a, I think he's the only one who takes appointments. Um, so I made my appointment for two thirty. I haven't been reading my Bible. This past week has been a bit difficult for me mental health wise. I've been having a really difficult time because of that whole triggering experience. Uh, you know, that was so uh, emotionally, mentally exhausting. And uh, it's been a very challenging week mental health wise. And I have been, I've been neglecting my praying and scripture reading. I haven't really done it. Barely any prayers. I don't, I haven't done praying for a while. And, but I've started to listen to The Imitation of Christ by Thomas A. Kempis on my mobile. That's, that's a very nice book. Uh, you know, audio. audio book. Um, it talks about humility and mortifying yourself, putting other people above you, uh, praying to God and uh, all of those things. Uh, it's a pretty good book. I mean, the audio book so far has been pretty good. Oh, I'm going to be slacky rude and I'm going to uh, wash my hands uh, so I can show my book. Hmm. I should get my third pillow. I need three pillows in my... <sighs> no one's home. It's just me and the dog. I just dropped my mom off at the station. Okay, this is about... The Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, Ritual Edition. I didn't I did think the book would be this big. I ordered this from a uh, store. Um, it's got some of this stuff. What is this? They've got some prayers in here. Let's see. Approved for use in Australia. So this is a, you know, this, uh, it's by this company called St. Paul's Publications. I think it's in Australia, I think. So this, this is like an um, introduction. Acceptance into the order of catechumens. Like I have to be a catechumen. Uh, it's all a sacrament. Oh, Christian initiation of children who have reached cate catechal age. A celebration of the... Anyway, <laughs> so uh, I might try and read some of this. Um, 
What is the first chapter? The second Vatican Council. Editorial note. Uh, general introduction. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, the Father of all. Okay, so I love reading. <laughs> reading. Uh, so anyway, so part one. Part one, we're a Christian initiation of adults our Savior Jesus Christ has done away with death and brought us life through his gospel. Oh, here's the outline on this page. Period of evangelization and pre-catechumenate. This is a time of no fixed duration or structure for inquiry and introduction to gospel values and opportunity for the beginnings of faith. So that, that's the period I am in. I am in this period. First step, acceptance into the order of catechumens. Like this is, um, I, I, had, I did that before once, uh, a long time ago, when I was 19 or something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there about 19, 20 or 18. I, I, so the 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 the, uh, the acceptance into the order of catechumens is when uh, I think uh, I have to ask my uh, class the teacher, you know, RCA, when is that going to happen? I think that might happen maybe next year. I'm not sure. The beginning of next year. This is the liturgical rite. So this is a formal thing. Usually it's celebrated on some annual date or dates, marking the beginning of the catechumenate proper as the candidates express and the church accepts their intention to respond to God's call to follow the way of Christ. So the period of the catechumenate, um, this is the time in duration corresponding to the progress of the individual for the nurturing and growth of the catechumen's faith and conversion to God, celebrations of the word and prayers of exorcism and blessing are meant to assist the process. So the, that will be uh, the period of the catechumenate. Uh, it can vary. The second step would be election or enrollment of names. This is the liturgical rite usually celebrated on the first Sunday of Lent. I think that's Easter. By which the church formally ratifies the catechumens' readiness for the sacraments of initiation of the and the catechumens. Now the elect express the will to receive these sacraments. So that will be baptism and confirmation, I think. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, that's not it. So the second step, step is the election or enrollment of names. That's not the Easter thing. The third step is celebration of the sacraments of initiation. This is the liturgical rite usually integrated into the Easter vigil by which the elect are initiated through baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist. So that is the third step. So, and then there is a period of post-baptismal catechesis or mystagogy. So, I have to know, I, I, I'm still in the period of evangelization and pre-catechumenate. So the first step, I, then my next step would be the acceptance into the order of catechumens. So I have to ask her when that happens. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so the, the, that's uh, got some stuff in there. Okay, it's 1.50 p.m. Uh, I'm going to go now and... Uh, so it's 3.06 p.m. Finished my appointment with my GP. Uh, it took a while, but not too late. So, um, yeah, I got my certificate. It was pretty straightforward. And I'm just going to... Oh, geez, parrot. 
me to get away this must be their territory or something <sighs> same as breeze read forward and uh, anyway oh I thought my hair was really messed up when I was in the medical center anyway so that's good a bit stressful but so I'm going to go home and maybe I'll eat a uh, Another bread, two slices of bread with peanut. Oh, you know, someone's waiting to get par parking, so anyway, I'll, I'll go now. All right, oh, oh, okay, but, uh, two slices of uh, toasted bread. This is my reward, <laughs> and um, oh, what am I doing? Yeah, you know, with the cacao cacao butter and uh yeah anyway all that all right and i'll make my veggies too after that so that's good <laughs>